Hey, Ryan Dice back with you again, and now we come to step three of the customer value optimization process, which is to optimize your tripwire offer. So what we've done, again, just to remind you where we've been, we determined product market fit, meaning we ensured that what we're selling, that, that primary core flagship offering is something that people actually want. In a sense, we optimized our core offer. We began with the end in mind. Uh, then what we did in the previous module is we talked about how you can offer a lead magnet, um, a specific lead magnet to get a whole, whole, whole lot more leads. Now what I want to do is I want to get you more customers. And there's two ways that we go about getting more customers. One is through the optimization of your core offer, which we covered as step one. But the second way we can do it is through a tripwire offer by offering what we call a tripwire. And, and a tripwire is a concept that may be unfamiliar to you because frankly, we sort of invented it. Um, a tripwire is simply an irresistible, super low ticket offer that exists for one reason and one reason only, and that is to convert prospects into buyers. We want it to convert prospects into buyers. In other words, tripwires change relationships. That is what they do. They change the relationship from a prospect into a customer. And that's a big deal. Even if it's just $1, even if it's just one penny, the relationship has changed. It's fundamentally shifted. And we know from our data and from our experience that if somebody gives you $1, if they, if they become a buyer, if they become a customer, they're far more likely to buy from you again. It's much easier to get somebody to buy from you again once they bought from you the first time. So with the tripwire, we're simply lowering that barrier to entry of the first purchase. Uh, tripwires also increase intimacy. Because now that somebody's given you some of their money, they're going to be more likely to give you some of their time. They're going to invest more in this new relationship. It's, it's the same way in a, in a dating when, relationship. When you go from meeting out at a public place to saying, hey, let's go get coffee, that's a more intimate experience, right? You're meeting up. You're, you're deviating from your ordinary path that you would take on that given day. That's what happens when you get somebody to convert from a lead into a buyer. Um, and also, tripwires show commitment. And that is what we want in all of our relationships. We want our prospects, we want our buyers to be committed to us, to, to believe in us, to look at our brands and to say, yes, this is the source. This is, you know, this is the person or this is the brand. This is the company that I look to for this particular need. And this one, this concept of commitment is a big, big part of it. So that's what I want to talk about in the next video, the two types of commitment and how tripwires uh, can, can function to show both of those.